Sharika Jackson with the advantage. Elaine Thompson here up against the press. Shillian Fraser Price left back. Sharika Jackson storms away from the field. Sharika Jackson will not be caught. Look at the time. Jackson wins it. Oh my word. Thompson. Wagwan people. Welcome back to another Yardi TV news headlines. The people. The bodies of three Jamaicans were found inside a Queens, New York house, and they were identified by relatives as 55-year-old Carlene Barnett, her son Dervon Brightly, age 35, and a family friend, Bashana Brittany Malcolm, age 22, who is believed to have been visiting at the time. All three victims were found with multiple stab wounds inside the single house. Police sources and the Daily News reported that they found Malcolm with her hands bound and her mouth duct taped. Police theorized that the three had been murdered at least three days before their bodies were discovered by another of Barnett's sons who lived at the house but was away. The son was released after being taken into custody and questioned by the police who determined that he was not involved in the killing. The newspaper quoted police sources as saying, Neighbors Saman Assam, Ravi Prasad, and Asaya Adams all expressed shock at the death of the three. Police have not yet determined a motive or suspect for the murders. It is now confirmed that six Jamaicans have now been murdered in New York metropolitan area since the beginning of the year. So, this just go for sure. So, murder not just confined to Jamaica alone. So the next thing we are going out of the street now peeps, I want to pay attention to the screen. On your screen is missing 15 year old Tanisha Walters. She was last seen on Friday June 24, 2022 and she is of dark complexion, slim built and about 5 feet 9 inches tall. Tanisha was last seen on Ugly Park Road, Kingston 10 wearing a pink blouse and blue jeans. Anybody knowing the whereabouts of this young lady? is being asked to contact the police ASAP. And Mr. Man, if you have Tanisha, we are begging you please let her go so she can go back home to her family. She's just 15 year old. And Tanisha, if a man yard you there, go on home, your people let me look for your Bridget. Go on to your yard. So the next thing we are going out of the street now, peeps, we're going to the parish of St. Elizabeth. And from what day you be looting and shooting are going, be a badness that chuck over St. Elizabeth. But this time it come with a twist. 37 year old farmer suspected of committing suicide in St. Elizabeth. Police are now probing a suspected case of suicide involving a farmer in St. Elizabeth on Sunday. He has been identified as 37 year old Desrick Noel, a resident of Chocolate Hole District community close to Junction. A police report said Noel was last seen alive about 12 p.m. on Sunday but was later found hanging from a tree about 5.30 p.m. by relatives. A video which has gone viral on social media shows Noel hanging from a tree by what appears to be a long piece of rope. A grieving stricken woman is also seen in the video. Noel was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Why people may not know what could have caused this? I don't know what could have caused brother Noel. We go buy a piece of rope and jump off a tree. You see me? It go for sure though that Jamaica need more places where people with depression and stuff like that can go, go get help. Especially for man. There's very few places in existence where man can go, go get some help, you know. You see me? There's a lot of places for females, but there's not a lot of places where men can go and get help. So Government of Jamaica, no need to sort out that. And condolences to the family of this brother here. So the next thing we are going out the now in peeps. Kingston Denham Town. Dead teen's mom boyfriend and his uncle is being sought by the police. The boyfriend of this young lady upon your screen, 17 year old mother of two month old baby, is one of two people named as person of interest in her shooting death on Sunday night. Devonese Nelson, otherwise known as Pinky, a student from North Street, Kingston, was shot dead at her child's father's home in Denham Town on Sunday night. Her baby has been admitted to the hospital 
prior to her death. So the man that is being sought by the police has been identified as Eric Murdoch, otherwise called Brando, who is also the father of the victim's child. His uncle, Tevin Cross, is also being sought by the police. Police said Murdoch and his uncle, both from Kings Heights, Water Street, Kingston 14, are being asked to turn themselves in to the Denham Town Police immediately. The police said residents reported hearing explosions and summoned members of the security forces. Upon arrival of the police, a joint search of the area was conducted with the military during which they were alerted to the apartment in Kings Heights. The joint team, upon entering the premises, saw the door to the apartment ajar and made entry inside. Upon entering, the team saw Nelson's body laying on its side in a pool of blood. The body had what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the left side of the face. Nelson was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where she was confirmed dead. So people, I have seen the video because there is a viral video circulating in social media with this young lady has spread out on the ground and saw a red red round her head. I have been getting conflicting reports pertaining to this matter yeah, because earlier we get one that says she, she and her boyfriend did a play with the gun and the gun go off and then we get a next one where I say that the boyfriend deliberately shoot her in her head and whole up a different story so I am not a hundred percent sure. I am even getting conflicting reports as to her age. Some article says she has 18, some say she has 15, some say she has 17. I don't know what is what. But what I do know is that this lady was murdered by her boyfriend according to the more credible source. And now he's on the run. So, if you want to see something, say something. And people, bless up on yourself, you know. Thank you for staying with me until the end of another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at yardy.tv.official. Follow me on Twitter at yardytvofficial. And a link will be left in the description where you can join the Telegram group. Right, there, so we have the pictures, them, the videos, them, all of the stuff, them, we can post on YouTube over the site there. So, people, big up on yourself. Until next time, peace.